When you open the account link, you'll be asked to sign in. You can log in with Facebook or with the email address and password that you created at sign up. If you forgot your password, you can hit the forgot password button to reset it. In your account, you'll be brought to the overview tab first. Here, you can view your balance in your payment and delivery history. The debits column will track instances where money has been removed from your account, usually through recorded deliveries, and the credits column will track instances where money has been added to your account, usually through payments made by you. If you see a payment in red, this is an indication that you have a past due pending payment. If it's time for you to add money to your account, you can use the Make Payment button to do so. Here, you can select a payment amount and an electronic payment method by which to pay. If you have electronic payment information stored on your account and you need to change it, say you got a new credit card or changed your bank account information, you can use the Update Payment Details button to do so. In the Contact Info tab, you can edit your contact details, change your password, and add a secondary contact to be included in email communications. You can use the green summary box to confirm details like the date of your next schedule distribution, the share you're scheduled to receive, and what your pickup or delivery location is. You may also see the options to change your location or update your subscription if these are enabled. If you're a member of a business that offers one-time add-ons, you can access the web store via the web store button in the top right corner of your account. Note that every business uses our software differently. Some features may not be relevant to your particular account. For this reason, we always recommend that you reach out to the individual business that you are a member of for questions about your account.